Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the woods. Today I'm putting myself through a bit of a challenge. The challenge is going to be how long will it take me to get some clean purified boiled water using just my knife and a ferro rod. So, a few parameters for the challenge. These are the only two man-made items I'm going to use. Uh, for in terms of filtering the water, I'm not going to use fab man-made fabrics, anything like that. You know, normally if an ultra survival situation, I would just use shamog, bandana, t-shirt, something like that. I'm going to build a proper bushcraft water filter, just in case we're in situations where we don't have access to these kind of textiles. And secondly, it has to be boiled and I have to be able to drink it. Pretty simple. Now, the reason I'm doing this challenge is if you can't boil water, survival is not going to be a very long time. You know, uh, you might be able to survive a couple of weeks, but eventually, you know, especially in the West where our gut and uh, microbiota are not accustomed to drinking dirty water you will succumb to dysentery pretty fast without that so let's get let's get to it i'm gonna see how fast i can do this so first off i'm looking for things to make a fire with and things to make a filter from so the fire will allow me to one boil of water but also make a bowl but also i need something for a filter and i found this down tree so let's take some bark off it because it'll be useful for both of those things so for the fire, I'm just going to strip a load of this uh, bark off this birch tree, silver birch tree, because it's obviously full of resin. I mean, you can see someone has done this before. It might have even been me on its previous trip. And I'm also actually going to harvest some of these while I'm out here. Some of these uh, birch polypores, uh, because they make a great tea and they're great for anti-parasitic properties. And obviously, if I'm about to drink some water uh, from the wild, it will start an extra layer of protection for me. So in order to make the actual filter, we need like a cone of bark. So I'm just gonna cut a rectangle out from this fallen tree here, and uh, then we'll shape it into the shape that we need. Slowly and gently, just prise it off. See, I've got a little bit of a rip there, but because this is just to the, contain the filter, it's not actually to contain the water. It doesn't have to be watertight. There we go. There we go, so we've got the piece of bark for our filter, now we just need to create a peg to hold these two things together. Making a primitive peg super easy, you just need a bit of a living stick. What we're going to do is we're going to split it, it doesn't have to be super far down, an inch or two, and then bind it with something to stop it splitting even further, and it'll start like a peg, nice and simple. halfway down there we go and now let's peg this at the bottom there we go it is not pretty but it will work so let's take this tube and let's stuff it to make a filler so right here we have uh, applied every single prepper survivalist bushcrafter should absolutely know this is cattail. Uh, we're going to use it today as part of the filter, but we're also going to use it as tinder. It is an amazing plant. It is also edible. The roots are edible. The entire plant is technically edible, though most of it is too, uh, too, chuff, too tough to chew through. That's quite hard to say fast. But now, for now, we're just going to take this top part here and we're going to use it in our filter. So, harvested. So there we go. We've pushed the grass down from this end to create a plug there to hold everything in. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to fluff this up. Like so, and it kind of just explodes when you release some of that tension. All these are seeds. It's giant fluff. 
and we're just going to stuff this down in there. Get as much in as we can. And what we don't use here, we will just use as tinder. So there we go. Filter made. This will filter out uh, pretty much all particulates. Uh, what we might do, put some charcoal in there. If we weren't using a burn bowl, we'd put charcoal in there to bind to chemical agents as well. But because we're going to use a burn bowl, we don't actually need that step. So we have our filter done with it ready to go. This is ready to filter it. Now I'm going to get a boil on the go as fast as possible. I'm going to make a burn bowl so that I can boil out of that. And so filter the water through this into the bowl and then stone boil it in there. So it's been half an hour already. Some of that time was filming time. So let's say it took me 25 minutes to make this. So let's do it. Let's see if we can get this in under an hour and a half. So we've got the rest of that cattail and the silver birch bark we got earlier. We're going to mix it all up, shred it down fine uh, into a little bird's nest, which we're then just going to throw some sparks into. Went up pretty quickly, so... Ten out of ten would use again. Right, so let's get a good bed of embers going, and then I need a bigish log or something that I can just burn the middle out of to make a burn bowl. So let's get that on the go. Now, normally, if I was making a fire, I wouldn't bother stacking it so fast. I would build up more slowly. But in this case, because I'm trying to do this as quick as possible, our time limit challenge, I'm stacking wood on it as fast as much as I can, then bellowsing it putting extra oxygen in there to complete the fire triangle and burn as fast as possible so I can get some charcoal as fast as possible. Right, so we're not actually going for aesthetics here, we're just going for functional. So, found this fallen log, broke a few branches off it, so I'm going to peel the bark off then let you just scrape and burn a section down here. It doesn't have to be big, just big enough to actually hold some water, so let's get to that. So it's actually just started to rain, which will make this both some respects easier because there'll be more water and fresh water lying around, but in some respects harder because I have to get a fire and a burn ball going. So we'll see. Let's get to keep going. See, we're getting there slowly. probably going to be the most time intensive part of the whole process I'm not trying to get this super deep uh, half an inch deep a couple of inches across just enough to boil some water and we can boil just loads just like that okay so there we go for now it's not super deep good enough little bowl I'll put these rocks in the fire behind me now just in the end let them get super hot so now I'm just gonna go fill this up with water using the filter and I'll show you that in a minute. But I mean, I could have got stayed here and spent next couple of hours making this amazing vessel, but I can already feel myself, my lips are getting a bit dry. Uh, mouth is getting dry. Little bit of a mild headache already because one, it's hot and humid and sticky out here. I've been by a fire blowing into it. So I don't want to be behind, you know, I've got good enough. You know, I'm going to be able to boil water in this. I'm going to be able to have something to drink, quench my thirst and keep myself going. In the rule of threes, it is three days without water, but that's three days till you die without water. You are going to be compromised from dehydration way before then. And I don't want to be playing catch up. So now I can feel it starting to set in. I'm going to get ahead of the game. So I've got a vessel. I'm going to be able to boil some water in it. I'm going to go get some water, stone boil it as fast as we can. Let's go.
Right, there we go, we've got our water, so let's go back and put a hot rock in this and boil it up. Right, so my water is here, in the log, fire is there, very careful. So, all I've got to do now, take the rocks out of there, put them in there, boil the water, drink it up. It's been two hours, 22 minutes since I actually started filming, uh, well, since I started this challenge, so say two and a half hours uh, to achieve it, accomplish it. So let's get this done and then I will talk some more. We come up close. There we go, we are losing a bit of water out the side, but we have boiled water. Uh, leave that to cool down. Oh, I've got <laughs> ash on my head, charcoal on my head. Right, let's leave that to cool down. Still steam a bit. Hopefully, I don't burn my face on this. Charcoal y wood water. Don't worry about the charcoal. Charcoal is fine. They use it in low water filters. Uh, this much won't hurt you. And they also use it as medicine. White if you're tight, black if you're slack. So I might get a bit constipated. But this will keep me going for now. And if I was here for a few days, I could make just better and better and better containers. You know, this is a short-term solution to a problem. You know, I needed water. I needed it fast. Job's done. And I could just go and keep repeating this process. It, the whole retrieval and boil takes two, three minutes. So every hour or so just get another thing full of water and that'll keep me going until i get a better solution it also buys me time to build shelters uh get food do whatever i need to do so cheers charcoal too. so guys just one of the reasons i did this challenge is to give you a realistic view of what it's like when you're actually trying to survive and actually try and do bushcraft you know, there's so many videos on YouTube where they go out and they just make these amazing and everything goes perfect. Uh, and it's like 20 minutes and they've made a perfect bowl and this, that and the other. Uh, one, a lot of it is nonsense. Two, it some of that stuff requires an insane level of skill. You can't just go out into the woods and do that stuff. It takes hours and hours and hours of practice. And even people with a fair amount of bushcraft experience struggle with things uh to do things as well as you see in most videos. Most bushcraft YouTubers, they're showing elite, elite skills that even most bushcrafters would struggle with. And it gives people a false sense of how hard something is. So test your own skills, go out. You know, normally I would have a stainless steel water bottle on me or a water filter or something. It wouldn't make, an, like I would never have to do this, but test your skills. This is a survival skill. So it's important that I, I test this and hopefully I've given you guys a realistic view of how long it actually takes and how difficult it is. Uh, you know, took two and a half hours uh, for me to do. Could have done it a little bit faster. Uh, Cause I tried to originally, as you can see, to make a another bark container, but couldn't get it working. So I had to do my burn bowl backup idea. So hopefully you guys have learned something from this video and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching guys and uh, have a good day.